Oh, there's another one going off here. Watch out. This was the climax of the violence on Stanway Road. It had been building for hours. This is the story of how a road collision became a riot. <laughs> Ely is about five miles west of Cardiff city centre. This is the earliest footage we have, filmed on Frank Road and now part of the investigation. 5.59 in the evening. An electric bike and a police van apparently following behind. The stretch of road is eight and a half metres long. Based on the time taken for both vehicles to cross, the Sky News data and forensics team calculates they're travelling at around 28 miles an hour, with the van 15 metres behind the bike. Officers are called to the scene of the crash on Snowdon Road shortly afterwards at 6.03pm. There are two bodies, which we've blurred, to the right of the bus. Police said the collision had already occurred when officers arrived and that no vehicles were involved. But remember the bus, it will help us understand the location later. At 20 past eight, South Wales Police Cardiff tweets to tell people to avoid coming to the area. Police assemble near the intersection of Snowdon Road and Stanway Road to form a divide between the incident and people gathering further down. This is the scene of the accident, the same bus as here. Down from there on Stanway Road, more than 100 people gather and start throwing projectiles. Night falls and the crowd grows more violent. Around 10 to 10, they start a fire. It's put out, but it's not long before another is set. During the live stream, residents can be heard blaming police for the death of the two teenagers. In the most heated moments, the crowd attacks police with fireworks. In turn, they charge. The action shifts to High Mead Road nearby, but in the early hours, the crowd disperses, the cars still burning. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.